Welcome to episode 4 of From Trump to Champ. This week I revisited a bunch of bosses that I have not done in a long time and I still have to learn how to do them effectively. We did a whole lot of PVM this week so I have a whole lot of clips for you and because of this we'll have two episodes this week. This will be part 1 and episode 5 later this week will be part 2. We're going to start with a ton of clues so if you're not interested in multiple clue clips I'm putting up a time right now that you can go to or you can click the timestamp in the description below to begin with more progress. But before we continue I thought it'd be fun for you to guess the cash change between these two episodes. Between all of my deaths relearning content, my shop runs and obviously alking some of the stuff that I got. Keep in mind, I only have about a 2 mil death cost in power gear and about a 4 mil death cost in tank gear. I'll also admit that I did get a little frustrated with some of the PVM that I did, so I did end up swapping off to a ring of death for part of this. Go ahead and put your guess below and I'll reveal at the end of next episode what that change was. Let's get started with episode 4 of From Chump to Champ. If you're enjoying the content so far, be sure to like and subscribe. All right, so after finishing my scripture, I wanted to move on to doing some clues to knock out this stack of 60. So I had uh, one medium and four hearts to do. So let's open these guys up first. The medium, we got nothing good, but I got some pure essence, which is nice. The hard, we get nothing good, but I got two rerolls. So let's use one here. All right, that's a fortunate. Another fortunate. Reroll this guy. Oh, let's use another reroll. All right, a master and a fortunate. Let's go. And nothing. All right, let's start the elites. Right, so I finished the first 10 elites uh, in that Meerkats. Let's see what we get. First one is nothing good. And nothing good but a reroll. So let's go reroll that into nothing again. And fortunate. Nothing. Master, nice. Holy crap, really 80 and 90k elite. Reroll that. All right, fortunate and log progress. Nothing. Fortunate and log progress again. Let's go. 393, let's reroll that. Oof, that was a mistake. And nothing. All right, so I still have 50 in my thing. So what I think I'm going to do is basically every day I play, I will do an hour of clues and then go to PVM. So this episode will have quite a bit of cluing. So the next clip will probably be another 10 clues. And then after that will be clues in between clips. So let's get to the next set of clues. So I totally forgot that I had these 10 uh, Triskelion keys. Uh, so my clue stack is about to go from 50 elites to 60 elites. Yay. 21 elites. Let's go. We got fortunate. Fortunate. Tw look at that. Look at that. 21k. <laughs> Reroll. Uh, nothing good. Let's reroll that too. To nothing good again. Let's go reroll it again. Oh, tower skips. Okay. Let's add another reroll. And master. Uh, uh reroll. And late body. Let's reroll that. All right, master. Let's keep that. Oops, I should have redeemed a reroll token there. That was a mistake. All right, I'll keep that one. I'll keep that. So we got nothing good. Let's reroll that to another fortunate. And then we need to claim more tokens here. And we got another fortunate. Uh, Meerkat scrolls, so I'll keep that. Nothing good, so I'll reroll this bad boy. Meerkat pouches, I'll keep those. Fortunate. Master and let's go. I think that's a blood dimus. Oh well. 
Alrighty, this is a reroll for sure. Master. And then I'll reroll this guy for another master. Okay, lumber yard. I don't think I need any more lumber yard, so I'm gonna reroll to get a master. Alright. And the lighthouse. Lighthouses are much better. Fortunate and log progress. And I'll keep that. And, and another fortunate. All right. Not a bad take out of those. All right. So I did another nine elites. Let's see what we're going to get. We can just use one of these tokens just to make sure I have rerolls. And first one, we're getting 190k. I hate elites. Let's reroll that. Uh, really? Another reroll then? <laughs> There we go, that's a fortunate. Clock towers. I don't need clock towers, so I'm gonna reroll that into a fortunate. Another fortunate with a cool with a log progress, that's good. Uh reroll this, I think. Ooh, master and a fort two fortunates and a master. Let's go. Uh 600k, what's worth hey, you want my house tokens? I'm gonna keep those. Um 181k, I'm gonna reroll that. And then I should have added some more rerolls, so let's just throw in a couple more rerolls here from these tokens. And three more. Master, let's go. And then this one, Ganuth, I don't like need that, so let's get rid of that. Another fortunate. And the last clue, die. Rip, no die. Black boxes. You know what? Lock boxes are simple. I don't feel like keeping that. Let's use another reroll. Wow. I really should have just kept those lock box tickets, I guess. There we go, another fortunate. All right, let's keep it running. Doing my daily sandstone here. Um, those clues I just did did give me enough um, fortunates to be able to make another Essence of Finality, but I decided to actually go with the Brooch of the Gods because I really don't need the other Essence of Finality yet. Um, because the only weapon I have for an EOF is a Decimation, and I really don't need it in the EOF, so I decided to go make a Brooch of the Gods. So I know it's not really the best item for an Iron Man, but hey, it's still. Uh, so Iron Man progress, I suppose, right? Editing me here. Um, I just want to say I definitely regret making the Essence of Finality because literally when I woke up, they did the uh, update for melee weapons, so I could have used a melee EOF. So rip. This episode is full of regrets, as you will see soon. So a few of my friends invited me over for some uh, AOD. So we're going to do a couple hours of AOD here. It's been several, several months since I've done AOD last. So uh, this should definitely be entertaining. I'm sure you'll get lots of fun clips of me dying coming up here soon. So a lot of the group content that I'm about to show is done on Discord because I was talking with some friends who were helping me out. Um, I did try to keep the commentary relevant for both videos and the Discord. So hopefully the following clips do make sense. What the f is that damage? Where is the where am I getting hit? Oh. And I signed again. Uh, what am I doing with this thing? I forget. Oh, my thing was not my book feels bad. Yeah, my cosmetic grimoire, <laughs> my pretend grimoire. Hey, I didn't sign or die. Where's my drop? Oh, I, I was I was looking for a sign to refresh again. <laughs> I, I realized I didn't need to use it for once. Whoa! Hey, new PR. Let's go. Who kills in a row without signing? Let's go, boys. <laughs> no! Damn it! I got stunned before I could BD to the circle. Oh no! My game just crashed. Like, I had the death reclaim thing show up, like, chat box show up, but, like, my screen still shows the AOD room. <laughs> oh, I didn't sign refresh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, disruption shielded, but I actually hit devotion. Yeah, I did the wrong thing. Oh, my God, I surged the wrong way. No, I, I have like eight pots. Yeah, I have them. Let's use some more sign refreshes, boys. <laughs> Somehow I I didn't sign, but I spent that entire kill non overloaded. <laughs> I'm so amazed that people actually PVM with me. Whoa! What? What the hell? Whoa! My wrong prayer on. 
Yay, I finished my Reaper. Let's go. Total? Nine. <laughs> It was, it, no, it was 10 kills for the Reaper. <laughs> hey man, it's almost as good as the, my or my initial Solak attempts. So should, so should we just be running or like, should we be like just running around when we're doing the Shadow Crystal or? Okay, okay. That's what, that's what I started doing and then I stopped signing over there. <laughs> I should probably not be next to the team when the bomb's about to drop him. Well, that makes way more sense now. Hey, I wasn't low as DPS. Let's go. Ah, ah, oh, damn it. No, I'm, I'm fine. No, I don't have plated di dive up. I just re I realized that I didn't have bladed dive up by the time I started moving towards it. I was like, oops, that's not right. Whoa. Oh, yeah, in cats. Let's go. There's some. Okay. Oh, my God. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> oh, whoops, I vip potted way too early then. Ooh, that was spicy. Whoa. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh-oh, can you guys hear me? Oh my god, no. Did I die again? Oh, I didn't die. What? I didn't die. So that was good. A uh, couple uh, AOD hours. I did die a bunch. Um, used around nine or nine sign refreshes, but overall it went pretty well. We got around 27 kills. I survived for just north of 20 of them, just because you know I'm obviously still learning it. But yeah, overall it went well. Um, learned a whole lot, like how to deal with elements properly and how to transition into killing the pillars. But what I think I want to do now is move on to trying to get ready for more Solak. So obviously, as I said before, solo Solak is a major goal with this. But I want, before I get into that, I do want to upgrade my uh, perks on my mage tank armor because I currently only have biting two. Ideally, I would have liked that to be a biting four, but I don't have the Nox components to make a biting four. Um, so I do have five right now. So I have two options that I can do either a I can try to I can disassemble one of my webs and try to get another hilt and disassemble that or I can go get another eye and then replace my caramel swap with a new um, Nox caramel swap and just disassemble my caramel swap or something around those lines So it kind of depends on what I get, but I think I'm going to start focusing on a Raxor so I can get my um, fighting upgrade but before we go on to some more racks, let's chip away at a few more clues. Yay, clues. All right. So we get fortunate. L Lumberyard. That. Dragons. Ooh, another year. fortunate. Lighthouse teleports. I'll keep those. Fortunate, holy shit, so many fortunates. Roll that and re-roll that. And another fortunate. Let's go. It's a new day today, so I uh, got myself an Arax or a Reaper. We have through uh we currently have 300 kills, but we got eight more to do. Hopefully we can uh get closer to getting those uh biting comps we need. No, <laughs> 334. I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> Ooh, Onyx Bolts. I'll take those. Whoa! Whoa! 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, really? I hate Mirbax. I f hate this boss so much. I hate this boss so much. Well, at least it's good bruise. I staff specked and I freaking died because the mirror back showed up. So I keep dying because I staff spec and then a mirror back shows up. So I'm just going to get rid of my FSOA out of this preset, which means I don't need that EOF either. So, um, I'll switch those with a little more food, I guess, and just rely just on regular DPS rotations and see how that goes because I'm getting sick of dying at Raxor because of this. Yeah, I finally got a kill. Let's go. I hate this game. Editing me here again. Apparently a bunch of my Rax clips, um, I seem to have lost them, but that first Rax trip uh, was fairly, fairly awful. It got very frustrated, as you probably could tell in the previous clips, but there's more to come. So I just wanted to explain that right here. All right, so I'm getting a little frustrated. Um, if you don't know, Raxor is like my bait, the bait of my existence. I hate a Raxor. Um, I don't know what it is about P uh, Top Path. I just can't figure it out. Um, minion, the mirror backs are just... I just can't get wrap my brain around it. I always end up screwing myself over. So, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna commit a sin here, and I am actually just gonna disassemble these two Nox webs. The reason being is I can do Raxor on two three, and I can do Raxor fairly easily on two three, but I don't think I'm ever gonna finish another Nox weapon ever again, just because I don't enjoy Raxor. I'm not having fun doing trying this, and it's not something that I'm willing to take the time to learn. But I can do 2 3 Araxor really, really easily. So, um, I'm just going to disassemble these two webs here and not get a noxious weapon. <laughs> Another noxious weapon. And yeah, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. Um, if I don't get Binding 4 out of this, I'm going to be slightly upset, but it won't be the end of the world because I can always just AFK uh, corpse fighters or corpses in order to get more Nox comps, I think is what I'm probably going to do. So I disassemble those two Nox webs. Let's hopefully get biting for out of that. So these are my only noxious components that I have left. So I'm gonna put them in here like so, and I'm going to try to pair it with mobile. It's a pretty good chance of happening. So I'm fairly confident in this, but I could, I may have just committed the ultimate sin for nothing. So let's see how this goes. Biting four on its own, that's fine. I will take it. So I'm going to get rid of that biting two genocidal off of here. And I will put that biting four on my top here. And let's this is or let's dissolve the biting two genocidal here. Throw on a biting four, and it's already level 20, so I have a huge crit chance buff. So I know it's only been a minute for you guys, but it has been about 12 hours for me. I did go to sleep and I woke up this morning filled with regret. Uh, reason being is I was, I had a fang, I had two webs, I had a leg piece. I was close to, I was, I was over halfway through for my full, uh, knock set. And, uh, and it's something that I needed or something that I want. Um, so basically all I did was set myself backwards. I mean, I did get biting four on my top, which is good. And you know, it should help me with uh, DPS there anyway, but don't make decisions when you're tilted. Um, I am going to go back to Iraq, so I am going to finish all that stuff up, but yeah, I think that's the uh, plan moving. I forgot to turn auto retail off. Oh, I love Iraq, sorry. What the f- I hate mirror backs. Alright, finally got a kill here. Let's see what we get. I guess I'll keep that for the scales, but... What's my pet chance? I'm on 442. 
That's a horrible pet chance, but I don't care. <laughs> I have so many Sarnic scales. Rip. Oh well. <laughs> ah, I'm here back. Changed my uh, preset back to having the FSOA. I think I've made it figured something out that'll help me have it in it. And yes, I am using the Yak because I just hate this boss, but I know I can actually do it with Ring of Death and Yak, and then I won't be go poor. <laughs> so, that's what I'm doing. There we go, new PR, 4.2 seconds. Pretend legs, but so I'm keeping that. Alright, it's another kill, back to back, let's go. Yeah. And I'll keep that. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> I knew the mirror back was coming again too. Oh shit, there's a mirror back. I did not notice the mirror back there. Alright, there's another kill. I completely screwed up my staff spec, but that's okay. And Alex, let's go. Shit, 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 shit. Holy crap. Alright, that's another kill. And seeds. I like those dwarf weed seeds. I'll keep this. Whoops, I didn't even see the swipe coming. No, 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 I don't know why I used Omni right there when I knew the mirror back was coming. Mm. What the hell? I didn't even see the spawn animation. Start another hour. We got another kill. Let's see what we get. And overloads. I'll keep those. Oh my god. How did I... I saw the animation. I thought I hit the stop uh, attacking button. <laughs> see you soon. Alright. Did it again. Let's go. And we got land seeds and bruise. I'll keep them for the bruise. Alright. That's another kill. That actually turned out pretty well, even though I signed. But what are we getting this time? Serenic scales. Uh, what's my pet chance here? 445. Nah, I'll just keep it. Holy crap. Holy crap. That was horrible. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we get. Ooh, onyxes. Take those. I need those. Why is it that... I don't understand why the mirror back does damage before it shows up. All right, finally got another kill. Can we done with top path yet? Nope. Guess not. Mm. Wow. Oh my god, what the f I'm dead. Break, 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 break. Come on, get out. Not dead. I'm not dead. Oh, now I'm dead. Thanks for watching episode four of From Chump to Champ. As I said in the intro, this episode will be continued with episode 5 later this week, where we're going to open up with some Solak, hit some more Arax, or hit some more AOD, and have tons of fun. So enjoy watching nature beat the tar out of me. We'll see you soon.